Jordan has done so many things in the technology industry and shown an uncanny ability to stay in the present. He worked at the National Science Foundation and played a major role in the development of the early internet itself. But particularly in the last decade, he's really focused in on this issue of how we as individuals take advantage of technology. So I wanna just ask you as a way of getting at that to describe the device that's hanging around your neck, Gordon, and then we can maybe get into what you've been up to. Okay, this is a thing called a sense cam, and uh, it was uh, uh, invented or developed by uh, uh, Lindsay uh, uh, Williams, who was at Microsoft Research in uh, Cambridge, and she, I'll say, she was an inventor uh, and had the idea of having this uh, camera that she'd wear all the time to, so that you'd be able to, to, to say, where, where did I put my glasses or my keys or something like that. So how often does that take a picture? It's every 20 seconds, and uh, then you upload the series, and so you get this sort of frames of what you did uh, during the day, and, and then, of course, uh, I look at it as a, as a software sponge because it takes a, so much software to get to do all of the things you'd like to do. But the idea so, is augmenting memory. It's basically. augmenting yeah. memory. It's it, that the visuals are then a clue to uh, what, what was going on then. And then uh, now there are people, uh, particularly at Dublin College or Dublin City University, that wear, have worn it all the time. And then they've worked on the problem of looking at looking for patterns and summarizing and getting it down to getting uh, boiling all the data down to be more and more useful but of course the software challenge is how do you figure out what to make of all the data that you accumulate and obviously this kind of technology will go to video before much longer and certainly i would prefer to have a video camera that helped me with my quite increasingly yeah. failing memory i find the gps trails as an interesting uh, one of these things about your life. That is the, the fact that I can look through and, and uh, I can look at trails much more rapidly, a trail a day of where was I, sort of this zigzaggy thing. Oh, what I've done is build a transaction processing system for life. So every transactions, every phone call, everything is, you know, every mouse click, all of those things are, every heartbeat is logged. And what we've really done is to create an alternative memory and to create an alternative self. So I, I think of myself as having a cyber, cyber twin that's all in, all, in, all, in, all in bits. And that's the real good memory. And then my, what I've got here is a URL and metadata to, to access that. I guess the current epiphany is, oh my God, the data is not just in my hard drive, which we started out you know, 10, 10, 12 years ago, but the data, my data is everywhere. Anything on Facebook, anything on uh, LinkedIn, anything, uh, any statement, anything on Yammer, lots on Yammer uh, about, that's all part of, of my life bits. Things that I may want to, basically from a, from an organizational standpoint, things that I may need to rapidly recall. But now you've also added a huge medical component. This is one of the devices, then I've got a, uh, a body strap uh, here, and then, a, and then that's connected to a device here. Now this uh, is a program that runs uh, heart rate variability. So I just couldn't resist the opportunity to take the data here uh, about this to see how how my heart rate, how much stress I felt I was under. Do you think that, you know, in a sort of quantified self contemporary manner, you are sort of taking small steps towards the convergence of man and machine that Ray has talked about over the years, or what are you heading towards? Well, in this case, I think uh, we're heading to building uh, a set of tools that really will uh, help everybody, anyone who, particularly anyone with a chronic uh, problem to, to be able to diagnose and affect what they do. Mm -hmm.